have been a thorn in my side from the moment I seized the mantle of Dark Lord from your feeble grasp. You made a mistake coming here, Revan. The Starforge fuels my command of the Dark Side. You are no match for me here, and this time you will not escape. You have reclaimed your identity, Revan, but you have lost the power you once wielded. You are not the Dark Lord anymore. You are nothing. You are an insignificant speck beneath my notice. I have surpassed you in every way and accomplished what you never could. I have unleashed the full potential of this Rakatan factory. You had no idea of the power within this place. Its very walls are alive with dark side energies. And now, my old master, I will let the Star Forge itself destroy you.
Whoever steps on this will get a nasty sh- Whoever steps on this will get a nasty sh- Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty sh- Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty sh- Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Well done, Revan. I was certain the defenses of the Star Forge would destroy you. But I see there is more of your old self in you than I expected. You are stronger than I thought. Stronger than you ever were during your reign as the Dark Lord. I did not think that was possible. Once you were stronger than me, Revan. But as your apprentice, I surpassed you. The Master must always be stronger than the apprentice. That was why I betrayed you. No, I was prepared to face you, Revan. But fate presented me with a better option. I saw my opportunity and seized it. The trap set by the Jedi only hastened my decision. If they had not attacked, I would have challenged you for mastery of the Sith soon enough. I cannot deny your resilience. You survived my first betrayal thanks to Bastila's interference. You escaped the destruction of Taris, and you escaped me on the Leviathan. You even survived my attempt to destroy you with the Starforge itself. Fate and destiny have conspired to keep you alive despite all my efforts. We have been inexorably pushed to this final confrontation, Revan. I see now that this can only be settled when one of us destroys the other. Once again, we shall face each other in single combat, and the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. Force. 
Instead, I have brought them here. The Starforge corrupts what remains of their power and transfers the Dark Taint to me. You cannot beat me, Revan. Not here on the Starforge. Not when I can draw upon the power of all these Jedi. And once you are beaten, I will do the same to you. You will be trapped in a terrible existence between life and death. Your power feeding me as I conquer the galaxy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Another capital ship. It's hopeless. All Republic forces pull back. Pull back! It is too late to retreat, Admiral. The Sith Armada has cut us off. There is no escape for us now. Then the Republic is doomed.
Malik is dead. All hail the return of Darth Revan, the true Lord of the Sith. All hail Lord Revan. All hail Lord Revan. All hail Lord Revan. The Sith bow before you. You have reclaimed your rightful throne. The Jedi Order is in tatters. It is only a matter of time until your Sith minions wipe them from the face of the galaxy. The Republic fleet is decimated. The core worlds are defenseless against us. 